All right, guys, we are back on Civilization 5, or I guess maybe for the first time we are on Civilization 5. This is going to be the new series that we do. Now, I love Civilization. I play this game all the time. In fact, we are going to be doing a custom game. This is Civilization 5. I know that there's six. That one has a lot of broken features in it, so I'm not going to play it right now. It doesn't work well with OBS right now, so I'm not even going to consider it for a while until things kind of play a little better with it. And so I figured let's do Civ 5 because some of the people were wanting to really watch this, which was really cool. Um, I'm going to do something unusual. So I've never played City Skylines when I did that. When I first played Hearthstone, I didn't ever play it. Even Minecraft, I was really new to it when I first started. It's been over a year since I've been playing that, so almost two years now. Um, but Civilization, I've played for a really, really long time. In this game, I want to kind of make things not impossible, but harder than I've ever played it because I've played this so many times. If you don't never played Civilization, you're gonna have to go elsewhere to actually figure out how to play it. Civilization Five, you can play against Deity, definitely not going to do that. You can do Immortal, which they get a huge advantage. You could do Emperor, which is very, very hard. Um, and then there's King, which they have a small advantage and they're hard to play against. Um, typically, I play just on normal. I'm not going to do easy Chieftain or Settler because that's just not fair. Um, so I'm debating on if I want to do King or Emperor. I played this and I think it was a little bit of a fluke, but I lost within like 30 minutes of play a couple different times when I played it. And that's not going to be fun. Nobody wants to watch that. I'm going to rage quits after an episode and then you guys don't have any more episodes to watch. So we're going to do King. We're going to play on a huge map, which is as big as we can get. We are going to make it harder. Um, we're going to play a random type. I don't know what it's going to be. It could be any of these. Um, but I'm going to make it harder because we're going to have all of these players playing, all 12 of them. And we'll go into the advanced setup here in just a second. Um, so we got random civilizations. We got, so you can win by domination. I don't want to do science or time. I don't want to do cultural just because those are easy ways to win. So you have to win through diplomacy and the fact that you um, enjoy everybody, um, you are nice to everybody, and you made treaties or you dominated them. Espionage, I'm just turning off. Um, random personalities could make them really easy or make them really hard. Um, I think the random civilizations in and of themselves will make them pretty good. And I think everything else is going to be good. We're going to do Ancient Ruins, we're going to do Barbarians. we we'll do all that fun stuff. And then um, Complete Kills, I don't even want to do because that makes it really hard especially if you don't know where the last guys are so we're gonna start from the very beginning we're gonna go forward with that 36 city-states which could be on with us or against us we're already three minutes in we've taken too long the reason I'm Washington and they're gonna talk here in a second is I Welcome, love President benefits Washington. here I'll let you read you lead the industrious American civilization Formed in the conflagration of revolution in the 18th century, within a hundred years, the young nation became embroiled in a terrible civil war that nearly terrible tore war. the country apart. Just terrible. But it was just a few short years later, in the 20th century, that the United States reached right. the height of the You can read all that on your own time. Emerging the key thing here is, is the from the all land military units have plus one sites so many and 50% discounts with buying tire tiles. I love to buy tiles. All right, everything's set up randomly. I have no idea what's around. This is kind of good. That's really good that there's that river there. We're going to go ahead and plant. I like to plant just about as soon as possible. And I like to go searching just about as soon as possible. There's some runes. If you don't know, the runes allow you to get stuff that you wouldn't have anticipated getting. All right, I am a scouter at first. I like to try to know where my enemies are. Um, I'm also, let's open up the technology tree. Now I'm gonna do a couple of weird things. At first, I wanna make sure that we can um, fight. And then I also wanna make sure that we can build roads. Those are my first two things I always shoot for. I'm less worried about the trading and the fishing. Um, 
we might want to consider this because there was so much uh, plantation around. Um, constructing camps is always good, but it's the constructing roads, the archers that we would eventually get, um, but this fighting down here, um, this is really where I want to get when we get to the swordmen. And even, well, I guess not the forge. The swordmen will be nice. The composite bowmen will be nice. So I think we're going to go mining first. And the fact that there's that mine that's right there, that'll be good. All right, now for those that haven't played this, every single person's gonna get their turn. It gets longer and longer. The computer has to think more and more um, as we get a little bit some bigger armies because each one of those entities have to go a little bit further. Sweet. That's awesome. Alt altitude training, that's nice. It's a nice little bonus to get if we do. All right, so go here to get this bonus. Advanced units, nice. I'll take it. In the beginning, there's not much that happens. We have to be kind of strategic with what you got. Cool. I already see there's a city state right here. City states cannot expand. They do not attack to destroy your territory. They don't intentionally, at least. Um, so you ha you can not worry about them as much, but you also don't want them to be a thorn in your side. So that's always something you have to watch out for. You got all these benefits up here. I will be doing the faith stuff. If you don't have that mod, you really should check it out. I'm less worried about the great work slots. This is always nice to have. This is definitely nice to have, and you have to keep people happy. You absolutely have to keep people happy. I'm a fan of trading. It gives you happy citizens. Sweet. There's a lot of little mechanics in this game that you have to really play this game so many different times before you figure out all the mechanics. Um, like that population growth actually is kind of a big deal because um, that means that this is going to produce stuff a little bit faster and things are going to turn out a little bit more. Um, let's get a worker going and then we'll do a settler. Which is good because then this will grow and then we can produce more of that stuff, get more things. Oh. Hola. I'm always a fan of trading initially. Hola. Ew. A barbarian has been discovered. Now barbarians will try to attack you, which means I need to go ahead and um, not worry as much about my warriors being out there, especially when there's guys this close. It does make me a little fearful. I'm gonna do the old come in and come out switch. Switcheroo. It's nice that these guys can move two at a time, especially when it's this populated. All right, I'm gonna take the long way back. Oh, we found another city state. We probably should say hello. Yay. I think that I should have said hello to the first city state. What am I doing? That's way up here now. It's too late. The meek shall I have be lost too many times where I've not had rise. warriors in my base or my home city. And so I just have to make sure that I think about that really well. Oh, I'm the first. Cool. Some gold down there, some stone. Ooh, there's a ruins. I want to go grab that first. All right, so we did the mining. We can remove jungle or we can clear a marsh. For me, the spearmen would be nice, but the walls are better. 
Mm, the barracks aren't bad either. Let's go ahead and do the walls. I don't do the big old um, wonders very well, just because I like to expand and then destroy as opposed to get the wonder stuff, and you can't win culturally anyways. So I'm not going to go for them. All right, I'm going to do that in and out trick again. If I were to stop here, they technically could come and attack me, and I'm not as powerful as they are. So I would take damage. And I don't want to do that. Ooh, and that's over there. More advanced whip. Ooh. Oh, but we stopped. Shoot, 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 shoot. All right, well, that's going to mean I'm going to get attacked. This is good that I have this because now I can attack people from range, which is really nice. All right. <laughs> I don't want to attack yet because I'm still searching. Cool, more gold. We're slowly gaining this um, research ability. You know what, I'm just gonna go, the goal is to get there anyways. Less having to mess with them. Eventually we'll go there. I am a fan of micromanaging a little bit, just because I think that that's the easiest way to win. Because we're on a little bit harder scale than normal, that's going to definitely be something we have to just make sure that we're careful. So if it feels slow, I apologize, but you kind of have to do this to be able to do this well. Hooray, another room. As soon as that um, worker is done, I'm going to be making another scout just because we have to have another scout out and about. And then we need to start building. We might be at the, no, we're not at the bottom, Never mind. All right, so you guys are just gonna take up residence there. Actually, changed my mind. You guys just kind of patrol. I'll just have him walking around until somebody comes about. I've received 80 gold. Oh, because they found the ruins. Cool. Another guy. Hooray, yay. Maheda, Epishak, get zip. Um, sure. Ma Why not? That just simply means he gets to see all my stuff and I get a little bit of free gold. More barbarians. It's got cotton over here. Some of the stuff you can't do anything with, but when you do, you get more food for your people. So they're happier. You get more gold, which means you can spend it on stuff. Gems, nice. <gasps> what was I doing? I did it, guys. I messed up. All right. Um, son of a gun. Well, that's no bueno. Nihao. Ohio. That's actually Chinese. Or is that Japanese? I think it's Chinese. That was Japan. Oh well. How happy are those whose walls already rise. Sweet. Alright, I think I'm gonna stop looking for ruins. And instead, let's go ahead and attack. Cool. And then decide what we want to do this ways. Archers would be nice.
composite bow. I guess I need the archers to get the composite bowmen, wouldn't I? Well, we need it for the wheel anyways, so let's go ahead and get some archers. <sighs> Good news is we'll make it in time. If they do decide to attack. And they are deciding to attack those little turds. Good news is they can't just occupy it, which is good news. They can't steal any of our people, so that's good news. Now, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do one more scout and then we're going to be making a ton of settlers. I guess we might as well go here and make a farm. I like to use up every single tile. I know some people are, that's a little much for them, but I like to do every single tile. You punk. Okay. Oh, I moved too far. And this will kill him. A good thing about this is, is it makes them a little bit higher up in their levels. It did not take that long. Come on. All right. So we earned some of this. This would allow us to have more food, which will mean we grow faster. This would allow us to adopt a great person. This will allow us to attack better. Like, oh, faith. Which one's the attack? I'm gonna do this one, but civilizations are always good. You get more production. Yeah, this one's the military one. So give us a little more food. People will be a little bit more happy. We'll be able to grow a little bit faster. If we open this up, we have 300 gold right now. What could we purchase? We could purchase a warrior right off. Could purchase a scout or we could purchase the monument. I'm gonna do this. We can buy tiles, but I don't wanna do that just yet. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, hello. That's no bueno. <laughs> Can I get them all? No, I couldn't even get them all the way down. That feels like a waste. All right. We are coming up on the 20 minute mark. I'm going to keep all these 20 minutes. So we got things going. We got some archers. Um, we're doing a little bit of stuff. It's not like crazy town kind of thing, but we're doing stuff. Let's do that. Since we are archers, typically we would not be able to invade them, but because we started out as scouts, we will be able to, so that's good. Kind of want to see what they're doing over here. So next episode, we will just, we're going to just jump right into it. Um, hopefully we'll have enough the half of the hours to do something. Cool. I guess maybe I shouldn't have done that in case they decide to come that way. Oh well. Um, so people are really liking this one. 
caravans will be nice when I get there. I want to do this. Oh, I need this. Okay, let's do husbandry so I can get the wheel. All right, guys, 20 minutes. I'm calling it. We'll be back. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate this. Tell me what you think. Would you pick someone else? Do you like the fact that I picked these people? Can we end it with... Nope, nope. They're gone. <laughs> we can't attack. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.